Hey, I'm Artifacts of Mars. We got big trouble in the Middle East brewing. Uh, instigated by the Palestinians, for one. This is from Washington Free Beacon. Palestinian terrorist group Hamas is planning a mass demonstration along Israel's border Friday, prompting fears of a new war with Jewish state ahead of the pos Passover holiday. From the regional experts and the U.S. officials, who say they are closely monitoring the situation. I was hoping this was internet BS. It's not. I'm taking a second sight. They're doing it. It's going down. At least four have been killed. This bear is watching because this is trouble. But there's more to come after this. Stand by for, uh, more after I get done with this story. Thousands of Palestinians swarm Gaza border for March of Return, four killed by IDF fire. It's really Defense Force, if you don't know. Great March of Return, orchestrated by terrorist group Hamas, draws thousands of Palestinians to Gaza's really border, prompting IDF snipers to shoot at main instigators. Defense Minister Lieberman warns anyone who approaches secure defense is putting his life in jeopardy. You see here, it's a swarm all right. It's going to get worse, folks. This is not going to get better. What they're doing is they're using hum uh, civilians for so-called human shields. And Israel's not going to put up with it. They breach a border that's called an invasion. There's going to be serious bloodshed. As protests turned chaotic and security concerns became more valid, IDF declared security defense. The Gaza Strip border, a closed military zone, began dispersing demonstrators using riot control and firing at major instigators with live rounds. So they've injured about 350 of them and killed four. This is not going to go away. It's going to get worse. It's supposed to be a week-long thing. If they crash that gate, if they crash that fence and start pouring through, God help us. And of course, you have the usual pictures of injured and dead being carried off. Unbelievable. It gets worse from here. Here's part two coming up. This is all the thing that uh, is brewing. Now, this Erdogan, uh, he's president of Turkey, he is a dirtbag. Serious, serious dirtbag. Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the Justice and Development Party, AKP, have announced they want to create an army of Islam to wage war against Israel, it's been revealed. They do have this guy on uh, video talking. Less than a month ago, the Turkish state's mouthpiece for the state, for the daily Yeni Safek ran an article for Erdogan titled Call for Urgent Action on the newspaper's website headlined What if an army of Islam formed against Israel? Well, that's actually biblically pro prophetic. Not about the Islam part, but about these countries ganging up against Israel. They call for 57 member states of the Organization of Islamic Cop cooperation to form a joint army to simultaneously attack Israel from all sides. The article said that if member states of the OIC unite militarily, they are formed the world's largest and most comprehensive army. The number of active soldiers will be at least 5,206,100 while the defense's budget will be reached approximately 175 billion. 
This was accompanied by an interactive map providing the formation of military forces for joint Muslim attack on Israel. Right, so we got big trouble. All I can say is stand by on this one. Erdogan is a major, major dirtbag. He's scum. I need this crap. Why do we... Human race, we're like the Klingons on Star Trek. I think the Federation was designed after an ideal communist society, which of course will never exist. And I think Klingons are actually modeled after us in our uh, bloodlust. I mean, they're much like us. That's my opinion. So watch the Middle East. Big time trouble. I don't know what else to say. I wish this wasn't happening, but we're stuck with it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.